Hello everybody, it's Peter the Rock. It's uh, Thursday the 11th of April. I'm um, still at the HS2 crossing the Grand Union Canal site and something's happened which is quite exciting, I haven't seen for a while. The gate is open, which means possibly that uh, pedestrians, people on horses, whatever, can actually go down further along the London Loop or the Colne Valley Trail, which was the gate that's been shut for quite a while, two or three weeks. And it definitely looks from this point as if the, uh, the Grand Union Canal has been finally spanned and the back of Dominique is now, I would say, firmly just about on the east side of it. Hence, there won't be much, uh, uh, well, there won't be any segments being inserted over here. Therefore, it's open to the public now. Uh, we can, oh, there's another, another spiral staircase. Spoilt for choice. Um, Lots of people leaning around looking at things, um, but uh, not much going on here. But if there's a gate that's open, of course I'll go through it. Used to be a little chap, a little table, who would provide information or whatever. I don't want to film the uh, workers particularly because maybe they don't want to be filmed. Dogs on lead, ramp ahead, red light shows. This looks quite beautiful close up, doesn't it? Ah, there's a cherry picker underneath the join between the, where the two piers um, trackways, which, as I said a, bit, a little bit earlier, well, in the previous video, um, there seems to be a gap between it, but it looked like a gap. In fact, it's a, a kind of a metal or some sort of uh, truss or support which possibly is where the final glue or the grouting or the polyfiller or whatever is being installed as I speak. So it's, an, it's a very impressive, I mean, I, I've been up the Eiffel Tower when I was 14, made a big impression on me, being close up to all that um, metalwork. And this is similarly exciting. Oh, hello. You can see, see the bits of the crane, and he's moving quickly. Well, he was, till I started filming, of course. Um, maybe he's lifting another segment, or maybe he's just settling in place. It's a bit, bit difficult to know, because I'm so close, I can't see what, if anything, he is lifting. Uh, that's... This is a better view, I think. And you can see the whole of Dominique here from the West End or the Birmingham End right the way down to the London End, which must be, ooh, three, 300 yards, 250 yards. That's, I mean, that's a long bit of girder, and that is launching girder. Hello, here he goes again. And in fact, He's lifting something up. You can see the jib and it's swaying around a bit because he was going back with the forwards up, up until a few seconds ago. And it's rather like uh, going into an amusement arcade and trying to pick up something. You put in your money and you try and win some sweets or something like that. But it's rather like that, not knowing, not knowing what he's picking up but I'm sure he knows what's going. And here you can clearly see from here the two spiral staircases, which I think is very impressive, and the cherry picker. So there are three ways you can get onto the trackway, two spiral staircases and a cherry picker. Uh, so you can take your choice. Uh, but there's been a lot of progress in the last nine days, seven of which were work days because I don't think they work weekends. And as we can see, the uh, clearance of the HS2 trackway is a good 30 feet above the ambient 
land level or around here of course that's water level so quite exciting I, I, I can't uh, there are lots of people standing around I'm very reluctant to film people working because they might not might not like it or they might get distracted and do the wrong thing um, so I'm not doing that there is a lovely CCTV camera over there which will wave at it if you're a fan of um, Peter the Rock, here I am. <laughs> I think that's unlikely. And here is, I think, this is quite exciting. This, this bit of ladder here, um, and it's matching uh, uh, companion, the other side of the canal, we're very near the canal here, uh, used to be, I think, uh, the, the walkway. And I made a speculative joke about six months ago that because of budgetary constraints, the HS2 railway trains would have to stop one side of the canal, passengers get out, go across the walkway, get on another train. That was a joke. I think only one or two people have responded. Maybe I need to sharpen up my, my humour. Who knows? I just don't know. Anyway. I seem to be on my own here, and um, well, amongst the lay people, and we're going underneath now. There's not many places you can do this. You can do this on the Moor Hall Road, um, which is uh, two thirds of a mile up, up that way. This is the Grand Union Canal, folks. There are no restrictions on boats anymore. There used to be a sort of a uh, some rope and some floats. To designate the fact that you couldn't go in that direction and here let's just get a, a view here this shows the aesthetic beauty the curvature of, uh, of the spans between each pier and it's rather nice isn't it you couldn't ask for anything else it's not um, brut brutalist it's not skimpy you know it's it's done as nicely as possible. Up there, up the canal, you can see the bridge where I usually start my videos from, but not today. Um, and that way, of course, is down canal. Uh, so the floats have just been moved onto the towpath, maybe with a view to um, using them again. I don't know. The um, cherry picker is moving around a bit you can see uh, the piers only just support the trackway with with a couple of uh, cylinders underneath them I don't is that the case over there difficult to say but there are a couple of orange cylinders supporting the trackway and there's a hole a sort of trap door underneath the um, trackway up there for some reason that might all be all to do with uh, the grouting but this is quite a good view isn't it folks but underneath where HS2 will come thundering across in uh, whatever time it is a, a few years a year I, I don't know I don't know what the schedule is this is a great view of the uh, down the canal I hope rather hope they keep this this bit here but I imagine they won't um, because there's enough room for narrow boats to pass each other it's another view up the uh, uh, up the HS2 trackway um, now the, the noise is a combination of things I think it's this cherry picker and I think they're working on the final link between this pier and the next pier and I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but um, they are <laughs> they're doing something. Um, anyway, um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peter the Rock, Thursday the 11th of April. Cheers, like and subscribe.